Oh, that's a f***ing cool. And that's how we completely destroy a power board on a leader one point. Nice. Hey everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prons. I'm back, ready for doing more reviews, little vacation there, bunch of parts came in, law is gone, so off we go again. Now right off the bat, make sure you look in the upper right hand corner as always and check out the latest giveaways on the channel. Always something big, always something good going on. As we know, winter is coming. And when winter starts coming, whoops get hot. And one of the hot things right now is the 2S whoop category. Now, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, the 2S whoop category is probably way too powerful for flying in your house. Um, and you'll see further along in this video what I mean. So when you go to think whoops in the winter, make sure you're thinking about how big your interior is to work with. Uh, the brushed ones are still, you know, some of the best. The beta... Uh, 65S, the Acro B, these are all great quads to fly around in your house. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, Pepe, oh, uh, please, can Pokemon cards are so last week? Then you do have some brushless options. You can take a look at the Beta 65 Pro that is up there in your right hand corner right now, my review of that one. Or you can take a look at the UR UAV UR65. I have a review of that one you can look up at the top. And I also have sitting on my desk right here the Beta 65X, which is a 2S quad, but I'm I'm Still wondering if that's going to be too powerful inside. So as soon as that video is done, feel free to check that out and see if I recommend that for inside as well. Take a look at the links below in the intro or in the comments section, and I'll have links to all these different brushed and brushless options for inside. And I'll even uh, put a few links in there to some whoop gates that you can get and, and things like that for flying in the house when you get into this kind of sadder time of year for those. In Florida, we don't get seasons, so I kind of get to fly all year long. Now, with all that said, let's go ahead and get into today's review. The Beta 75X by Beta FPV. Now, this is a 2S brushless whoop style drone, and it is wonderful. I can't tell you how wonderful it is enough. But I got the FR Sky version with the XT30 plug. Now, that's what I recommend. It also comes in two JST 2.0 plugs, and I would rather go with the XT30 if I was you. So let's open her up. So a big thanks to the Beta FPV storefront and the Humming storefront on Amazon. You can go there, get a Beta FPV products, camera products, other things from Amazon. Get them quick and easy. But they provided this here for us today to review. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we get inside the box. The first thing we're going to see when we open the box is an extra set of props, or two sets of props, if you will. That is two counterclockwise and two clockwise props. These are Beta FPV 40 millimeter props, and having an extra set is always a good thing. The next thing up is the classic Beta FPV canopy. You get an extra one of those as well. It's the same canopy you can replace with a fancy one or buy easily online. Then we get the Beta FPV 75X itself, and we're also getting our 300 2S LiPo battery. At the making of this video, extras of these batteries are out of stock, but you can alter a tattoo battery with an XT30 if you need to, or continue to look for these to be back in stock soon. Now let's go ahead and break down the components of the Beta FPV 75X. The first thing we have are these Beta FPV 1103 11,000kV brushless motors. Now these motors are the lightest 1103 motors in the world, coming in at only 3.2 grams with a JST connector. And truly the innovation part of this particular little quad, because this is a game changer. Because now we can add power without adding weight. The next thing we have is the ZO2 all-in-one camera VTX by Beta FPV. It's a 25200 switcher. It's six bands, 48 channels with race band. It has a 100 to 120 degree field of view with a quarter inch lens running NTSC. And the camera is mounted at a preset 35 degrees. Next up is your receiver, whatever you get. I got an XM Plus, but there's the SMX, Futaba, and FlySky as well. Next up, we have our stack, starting with our flight controller. That's a 2S F4 flight controller with the STM32 F405 processor, a 6-axis MPU 600 gyro, 
Mind Game pre-flashed with Beta Flight 3.5 with the Omnibus F4SD target. The 4-in-1 ESE is a 2S ESE board with a 6 amp with a burstable to 10 amp D-Shot 600. And lastly, we have the Beta FPV branded 40 millimeter 4-blade prop. I'm going to freeze the footage here before we go on to the flight footage and talk about the good, the bad, and the uglies. Now, one issue that really wasn't Beta FPV's fault, but it really probably no, but none of us really thought of it, is what happens when we get all this speed in a whoop type copter. Now, the frame itself handles a hard ding, no problem at all, but these little cameras that have been, been put on whoops really weren't made to take the kind of hit that we now can give with this kind of speed. So what's happening is the barrel of these little cameras gets kind of pushed back in the threads and that causes it to go out of focus. Now if you're very careful you can take that apart and re-screw the barrel in and get it straight. There's a video out there that I'll put in the links below if you should have this issue to go check out my man. He did a video on it and he'll show you a coating to put around it that I would do before I even flew it. Let that dry which is going to firm up that barrel so it doesn't uh, do that quite as easily. At at least until I'm sure Beta FPV is looking into some solution for a stronger camera that we can fit on here without sacrificing too much weight to solve that issue. So that was the, really the only issue I had besides Beta Flight, which you'll see in the video. I, I still don't care for it very much. I'm using Butterflight, and as soon as I put my Butterflight pits on, uh, these little quirks in Beta Flight seem to go away. So. You know, you tell me which is better. I'm sure there's a debate out there, but I believe in it, so I'm still using it. So one other little quirk, it's not really a problem, is where our receivers fit into the bottom of this little quad to get to the USB is kind of covered by your receiver. Now, I found this TPU print out there that uh, actually was made for a buzzer, so I just took it, remodified it to give it some some strength and to fit in there tightly. I don't, you don't have to tape it down, glue it down, or nothing. But here's the buzzer one, and I'll put the links to that and to my version of it. If you have a printer, you can print out. And what this does is this is going to hold your antennas so you don't have to tape them to the frame or do anything like that temporarily until you get all your PID tuning set up. Because this way it's going to leave it loose. Mine didn't go in the props at all, crashing or anything. It's going to leave it loose enough so we can get in here to, let me move this battery, so we can get in here to this USB as you can see the antennas get in the way. Now, once I have it all dialed in, I'm going to turn those antennas outward so the port is open and then I'm going to zip tie them in a you know L shape as we would normally do but for now for my testing purposes this little part was handy and if you just want to go that way and always leave your port open you can print this out so again look for those links below up next I'll show you the flight footage I did this is right out of the box with 3.5 the only thing changed was a little bit of the nonsense in the USD removed and changed the name of the craft I also realized after the fact that out of the box this is going to be set to 25 megahertz and I ended up changing it later to 200 which gives us a lot better uh, VTX in range so I hope you enjoy the footage I'll let you look at that and uh, I'll see you at the end Okay, off we go guys with our flight footage. Nothing fancy here. This is just running it as we get it with Beta Flight 3.5 as most new people to the hobby would do, which is the way I approach these things is how are you going to get it if you buy it? And that's how we're going to fly it. So right there, first twitch I got. Again, I'm just I'm not the biggest fan of Beta Flight anymore. And I use Butterflight and I don't have these problems, but this particular problem could be coming from filtering. So this is going to be set up, filters on, everything. I, I think it's stock, actually. There we go again. And I don't personally use the dynamic filtering, the D-term, any of those filterings, and I don't seem to have these problems when it's not on. Now, if you know for exact sure that's what it is, feel free to write it in the comments below. People are smarter than me in the world. I'm not the smartest person in the whole wide world, so somebody's going to know something more than me. So if you do know that, put that down there below so people know. Other than that, I mean... Not very often, guys, can you really say that, that there is just such an outstanding quad when you get it. I mean, I get a bunch of them, you know, I test a bunch of them, and, and we've had some great ones. Turtle mode, coming up, gotta love it on a whoop gang. And this is just an outstanding 
little quad. It's got so much power. I mean, if you've seen my other things and, and, and you see the footage, I mean, it just reminds me of a GTR 90, you know, some other three inches, you know, XJB, things like that. It, it has the power. It's smooth. Um, I'm not the smoothest pilot in the world and you can see it, it's, it's smooth and, um, flies outstanding, you know, once you get, you know, the, the tweaks out of it. And, um, I just am really, really happy with it, and uh, I really think if you have the means, you should have one, because uh, it's it's definitely going, and it's going to go places, which is really interesting with these motors. We're going to be able to do a lot to it. I have a lot of plans for mods that I'm going to do, so so look forward to those videos. You know, if these mods work, um, to really like really bring the Whoop game up a lot. I mean, because I still believe personally that that this is the route to go. As you can see, you can buzz around your neighborhood. I mean, mine's a little bit more of an open space. I understand that, but you can do this up and down the street, zipping in and out of, you know, trees and stuff, just up and down your road in your neighborhood. You can't do that with a five inch, you know, nobody barely even hears these things. Five inches can be screaming. You, you know, you can do it, but you're likely gonna piss people off and stuff. And or damage some property in the neighborhood. And, and, you're just not going to, you can bounce the thing off of anything and it, it doesn't really do any damage to anything. So, you know, even if you accidentally ball on the neighbor's car, it's not going to be the same kind of idea if you put your five inch through their windshield. The Woo class is just the best class for the average Joe. Not everybody can go out and travel the world and fly bandos and do everything. The bulk of everybody wants to try to come home after work, try to fit it in, or when they take their kid to the playground, still be able to do these kinds of things that, that normal life doesn't let normal people do. So, as always, like, subscribe, tell your friends. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, guys, happy flying. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin. And if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel, check that out right here. And thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and happy flying.